All right. So Taylor, you said you had movies you yeah. want to talk about. What did you watch? I didn't watch I did. I, anything I, I, this week. I watched a handful. <laughs> um, okay. Well, let's see. We could start with uh, Bumblebee. Have you Oof. seen that one? I do not want to see that one. John you know Cena, what? It, Transformers. John Cena plays a very small role. Oh, really? Is he? Yeah, it's it's minuscule. Okay. The, well, they built it up he's, like it was. He's, the, he's the, yeah. Well, yeah. It's John Cena. He's like the Josh Dumal of this one, but okay. even less so. Yeah. Um, I, I when I pulled it up, I looked and I saw that it was like an hour and forty five minutes, mm-hmm. and I was like, "This is already my favorite one." I can already <laughs> tell. And it wasn't that bad. It's set in the eighties. And so okay. it's got like a cool soundtrack. I know that's not something that you typically notice, but it's got a lot of good eighties uh, music. Yeah, and I just think it's better. I, it's it's not great, mm. but it's it's funner. I think. Yeah, yeah. The first Transformers was was good, and I like that one. And I would compare it to that one. The first Transformers it, was new. I don't know if I would say it was good because you go back and watch it; it's not good anymore. The only problem <clears> I have <throat> with the first one is. Megan Fox is pretty awful, mm-hmm. and actually, I hate all of the the Josh Jamal stuff. I think it's stupid. It's so pointless. Well, you can't see any of the action. You can't tell what's going on. You like whenever the Transformers are fighting each other, it's just a big wall of CGI that just smashing into each other. It's like yeah. uh, when you're a kid, like when your brother would play with toys and make them fight, and you just smash them together. It's like, well, there's nothing. You don't know what's happening. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's true. Um, but all in all, I I was like, I'll give it a chance, and it it was it was enjoyable. Yeah, I'll, I'll give it that. So, amateur James said, I heard Bumblebee was actually good. I didn't want to see it either, but someone told me they actually really enjoyed it. So, did you see it, or did you you just skip out on it too? Because I like that's I've heard people say it's good, but. It's kind of always with an asterisk, kind of like what Taylor's saying. It was like, oh, it's, it doesn't, it's not bad. It doesn't feel it's, like the other Transformers. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not as bad as the other ones is a lot of what I hear. And that's kind of a, not, not saying you're weird for saying it, but it's not a glowing review. Yeah. It's not like, oh, I'm definitely going to go see this now. Uh, it doesn't, like I said, it doesn't feel like part of the other franchise. Would it you, just kind of feels like new again. Almost. Yeah. Would you watch it again? Uh, yeah, I'd probably watch it again. Okay. Not like right now, but I could see myself watching it again in the future. Whereas to the other ones, I might watch the first Transformers again at some point in my life, but I won't watch the other ones. No. They're awful. And I haven't even seen like the last. How many Mark Wahlberg ones are there? Two or three? I think there's just one. No, I think there's two. And what maybe, was the maybe last there's two? Yeah, that's I think the that first was one. the most recent one. I don't think so. Wasn't there one before that? Wasn't there one that came out like a year or so ago? I don't know. I didn't really keep up with any of them. It's, it doesn't matter because they I'm, all are off. I'm pretty sure Mark Wahlberg only did one. Well, bleh, it's those are dumb. I'm, I'll never watch those again. No. Uh, Amateur James says, no, I heard from someone who is a huge movie buff that they liked it. You must be talking about you. Who is this huge movie buff? Oh, yeah, it was me. <laughs> Uh, what else uh, did you see this week? So, okay, that was the first one. I saw the movie Eighth Grade. Uh, I really want to see Burnham that movie. movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It won a it's, ton of awards. It's really good. It's super. It's not. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone who doesn't find like the cringy, like awkward humor funny, like I do. Like, like, like some people who are like, "Oh, The Office is too cringy." Like certain situations are too too uncomfortable because they're so awkward mm-hmm. that they can't find it funny. I love that stuff. I think it's super funny. Yeah. And this movie is a lot of that because it's, it's, it really feels like what I remember eighth grade being like, like how I remember people acting and the things that they did and just everything's awkward, but it's, yeah. it's a good movie. I think it's really good. Hey, thanks um, for that raid, Kenneth. <laughs> we, uh, Kenneth just rated us for five or four. I'm not really exactly sure how that works. We got two alerts. Did you rate us with nine people? Was I don't know what any of that means. So he he had people watching his stream. He was ending it, so he brought them over to our channel to watch ours. Oh, Figured okay, I would cool. watch you till cool, the cool. end and then stream. You don't have to end your stream, Kenneth. In. You can do it. You don't have to. I appreciate it, though. I mean, people got to watch that bounty train. 
But yes, uh, <laughs> would you say eighth grade, eighth grade is similar to Zach? Oh, what is that called? Yeah. What Zach Stone called? is going to be famous. Zach Stone is going to be famous. That's what I was going to say. I was going to say Stone, but I was like, no, that's not right. Is um, similar. Cringy like that or no? Because that's kind of, um, man, I'm going to cringy. Another that's cringy name. because he's just like trying too hard. Uh-huh. This is just like. Yeah, you know what? I would say it is the same. It's, it's the same pretty same. very similar. Yeah. Well, now I'm extra excited to see this then because that that show. If you haven't seen that, Zach that Stone, was a really funny little show. If you haven't seen Zach Stone, is going to be famous. You are missing out. It's it was one season on MTV. Oh, speaking of that, oh never mind. That was a different movie. <laughs> one season on MTV with Bo Burnham as the lead, doing everything yeah. he can to become internet famous, and it is so funny. It's so good. It's really funny. Uh, yeah, so it's a good movie. I definitely re- would recommend it. Yeah. Um, I, I I can't speak directly to it because I only have boys. But the so it's it's mainly about this girl. She's in eighth grade uh-huh. and she lives with her single father, and just the the situations that this guy's put in with her, with her just being a teenager. Yeah, is like it's so hurt. Like it hurts to feel like that's that feels real. Like that's how it is with teenage girls. Yeah. Just like he has no idea what's going on. Like she, she'll be fine, and then she'll just like get real mad at him. And like he's like, I, I have no idea what's happening. Like it, it's, you get, yeah, yeah. Just you gotta watch it. It's, the, it's good. It's good. The biggest horror movie I've seen in the last few years was Inside Out, and the whole idea of the way their brains work and how it will just change randomly one uh-huh. day. And looking at my kids and being like, "Oh no, that's coming. It's it's gonna be here soon. It's it's coming." And we get to do it on hard mode first, which is fun. Oh, like, yeah. It's not not just the 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 usual experience, but like with extra, mm-hmm. extra, extra. So that'll be. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Kenneth then said, "I did not like Bumblebee. Awful. I, I'm not. That's that's what I figured. Like." When I saw the trailers for Bumblebee, I was like, oh, this, this is not going to be good. I like John Cena. I like his personality, but Transformers is just not a good franchise. I wouldn't watch it or not watch it because you are not a fan of John Cena. Because like I said, his role is, is very small. Yeah. Uh, did you see anything else? I, like, like I said, I didn't watch anything this week. I did. That was two. So the third movie I saw was White Boy Rick. I don't know what that is. Oh, you haven't heard of that one? That's huh. Matthew McConaughey. Okay. So this is a true story based in either the 80s or the 90s about a kid. He's like 15 or 16 or something like that. And he ends up be doing some, I don't know if you would call it undercover work. You, I guess you'd call it undercover work for the FBI, taking down like drug dealers and stuff like that. Um, it's hard to explain exactly what the plot is because it's a little jumbled, but it's a pretty good movie. Matthew yeah. McConaughey is in it. It's got oh, who else does it have? Uh, what's what's the girls? No, I'm not going to ask you that. <laughs> <laughs> the lady from uh, the Hateful Eight, Jennifer Jason Lee. Okay, she's in it. Hey, Herbst- um, H- Herbstrol. <laughs> Hipster. Oh, Herbstrol. Herbstrol. My bad. Herb's turtle. <clears throat> um, it's it's a pretty good movie. It's it's a little slow, mm-hmm. but it's it's not bad. And it, like I said, it's based on a true story. That always gets a bonus point for me. Yeah. Well, Matthew McConaughey is uh, great in almost everything since Failure to Launch. Oh, and he's he's got a great mullet in this one. It's nice. fantastic. Nice. It's he's they're like real like rednecky white trash you know a family. Yeah. And he he plays it perfectly. It's great. So it's a drama. It's. Yeah, it's it's a drama. <clears throat> I th- I to be honest, going into it, I kind of thought it was going to be like a drama comedy. It's yeah. not a comedy. Were you expecting so I'm going Log- to be thinking that <laughs> Logan Lucky? Well, yeah, something like that, like yeah. some some humor. I mean, it's called Bite Boy <laughs> Rick. Like yeah, yeah. that kind of sounds funny, but it's not. Yeah, it's good though. I I would recommend it. Yeah. Well, did you see um, anything else? And this last week? one, and Ooh. I feel like you've seen this because we've talked about it in the past. But I finally got around to seeing Upgrade. I still have not seen that. You have not seen it? No, it's been on my list oh, since I saw the man. trailer. I know. Good. I liked it a lot. I'm going to try not to overhype it. Yeah. But 
I thoroughly enjoyed it. I knew I would, you know, just watching the trailer. Yeah. yeah. And it lived up to that. Nice. I would say. Yeah. I, it, uh, good I was, fight scenes. I think you'll enjoy that. I was a little nervous after Hardcore Henry. Hardcore Henry kind of uh, soiled me on Upgrade. Even yeah. they're not connected in that. any way, but the gimmicky styles and all that, and like the the intense fighting, I was like, oh, maybe it's gonna be a disappointment. Like this was. Um, um I don't think so. It's it's definitely better than Hardcore Henry. Yeah, I would say it it has the same feel and fight type style as like John Wick. Now, obviously, John Wick is way better. Mm. Uh, but this is pretty good. I would I, w- I would say it's enjoyable. Yeah. Um. It's 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 not super deep, you know, and it's kind of one of those like you can see what's coming before it does. Yeah. But I think the fight scenes make it worth it. Yeah. I think that's that's great. You yeah. know what it's about, right? I assume. Yeah. Does he get in a car wreck and they give him an upgrade and then he starts killing everyone who killed his wife or something like that? Yeah, pretty much. Because he becomes a paraplegic, so he can't even move his body. Yeah. And he gets something implanted that can move it for him that he controls with his brain and it has all kinds of features and stuff like that. It's is the it's shot, really good. Is the shotgun hand guy the main antagonist? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So there's it, a few. Oh, there's a few? Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better. Because in the trailer, they show him kill him. And that always drove me crazy about the trailer. Oh, then you're probably thinking of someone else. There's Maybe. like five guys. That okay. All that makes me feel a lot better. Cause that, that was another part that like kind of made me not want to see it right away. I was hoping to forget oh. all that. Cause it made it look <laughs> like the guy with the shotgun hand is the main antagonist. And then you see a clip of a guy walk out and he grabs the guy's hand and makes him shoot himself in the face. And it's okay, just like, yeah, that's not the main guy. Okay. That makes you feel a ton better. But yeah, no, I definitely want to see it. I just haven't gotten around to it yet. Yeah, uh, for sure you should. I, yeah. I thought you had already. I, mm-hmm. But yeah, good movie. Yeah. I like it. All right. Well. And that's it. Yeah, I, like I said, I hadn't seen anything this week, but those. Oh, and then I watched Alien. Oof. Three, mm. right? Not number one yeah. again. I watched number one again just to see if I was wrong the first time. <laughs> so if you're watching us on, on Twitch, we will continue our conversation with Alien 3. But if not, if you're watching on YouTube or on the podcast, we'll be back on Sunday with our next episode of the podcast. Yeah, yeah.